run, 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 what time is it, Mitsu? I don't know. No. Tuna time. Tuna time. <laughs> so if it isn't clear to you already, today our plan was to target bluefin tuna, which is a fish I've been wanting to get for a very long time. We weren't seeing any signs of tuna yet, so I decided to dive the reef instead and see if any kingies were milling around, as there had been a few signs of them. On this dive, I was eyeing a little queenie, and on any other day, I would have shot it. But I already had plenty of fish for the freezer, so I wasn't too keen on shooting anything this day unless it was a tuna or kingfish. But this is what makes spear fishing so selective, as you can literally pick the exact fish you want to take. On this drop, I was creeping over ledge and came across the biggest school of swallowtail I'd ever seen. Like, there would have been hundreds and I dare to even say thousands of them. I reckon I'll come back to this spot next time with a hand spear and get a solid feed of them. A swallowtail are easily my top five favorite fish to eat, and there was certainly no shortage of them here. I'd spotted the harlequin, so went down to get some footage of it. But Brad, on the other hand, I guess, had different ideas. <coughs> so what happened next completely caught me off guard, and there was no way I could have expected it. But I was just swimming with a school of Tommies, when all of a sudden they just disappeared. And then about 20 seconds later, this happened. Run, 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 run! Run! Tina! No! 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 Uh, so yeah, at the time I was using my one meter gun as we weren't targeting Tina just yet. So unfortunately, it lacked the power and looking back at the footage, my spear barely penetrated the fish as I only just connected with the tuna at the end of my shooting line which makes me think this fish was much bigger and further away than I thought. And as a Spiro, losing the fish like this is no doubt heartbreaking, and I absolutely hate the feeling. However, I'm pretty certain based on where I hit the fish, it would have survived. But after that, I was determined to redeem myself. And now knowing there were schools of tuna around, we jumped back in the boat, grabbed the beak guns, and started looking for any signs. And after driving around for a while, searching high and low, trying to locate them, we finally came across something that looked promising. Tell me when to jump in! When are you ready? Yeah, yeah. Which way? Wherever. Okay, I'll just swim to wherever you're pointing. Yeah, we'll jump in. I'm jumping in. Oh, stop, 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 stop! Mission failed. We'll get them next time. Far out! So if it isn't obvious already, I'm a complete novice when it comes to chasing tuna. There was a ton of bait around, however sadly, there was no signs of any tuna. So I jumped back on and we were on the search again. Oh, to the right, um, three o'clock, three o'clock. That's good. At this stage, we'd probably jumped in at least half a dozen times and hadn't seen anything except bait. And I don't know if we were doing it wrong or scaring away the tuna, or if there was just no tuna in the first place but anyone who's chased tuna before knows how tiring it can be. And we'd already been chasing them for a couple hours. So I decided to take a quick break and have something to eat. That is hard work. It is, just a constant jumping in and out. So we anchored in a nice little bay and came across something that was pretty cool, yet scary. There was a big old seal that was just floating in the bay. And as we looked closer, we could see it had a big wound in its side, which could have possibly been from a boat propeller or a big shark, but it didn't look good. And unfortunately, there was nothing we could do. Anyway, after a short break, it was time to continue our mission. Oh, look, the one to the left looks better. Yeah. Look at that. So after a bit of searching, we came across what we thought was tuna and stuck to our game plan of trying to jump in ahead of them. Ready?
However, sadly, there was still no sign of them in the water. But we knew they were around though, as we had seen them jumping on the surface. Nothing. So the hunt continued. We'd been chasing them for hours now, and I can't even count how many times we jumped in that day, but we were both physically, mentally, and emotionally exhausted. So I decided to hop in one last time and slowly swim over. And to no surprise, I was greeted by, you guessed it, bait. It's just bait. It was starting to get late and the sun was going down. So we headed back to the boat ramp, feeling very defeated, However, at least we got to see a beautiful sunset. So I know this video is pretty anticlimactic, and I'm sure you can imagine how disappointed we were as the main goal of this KI trip was to land a tuna. Although I was frustrated, I understand it's all part of the spearfishing journey, as more often than not, things don't go according to how we want it. However, this is what makes spearfishing so addicting, as when things finally do work out, you know you've earned it. But this day is going to haunt me until I land a tuna, and I'm not going to stop until I get one. So stay tuned guys. Yeah, so the top of the day, we ran out of fuel. Uh.